Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont, looked to assure nervous Democrats that there are a number of plans to deal with the scenario in which President Trump loses the November election but refuses to leave office. Sanders, speaking to TV host Bill Maher on Friday night, said liberals much, much, oh my God. So the Hill has a thing about typos. They're supposed to say must ensure. They put much ensure. Must ensure Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden wins the election, but that Democrats will have contingency plans to remove Trump from office if he refuses to go. The bottom line is that there are things that we have to do now to make sure that Biden wins. And if Trump attempts to stay in office after losing, there will be a number of plans out there to make sure that he is evicted from office, he said. But right now, in the next five weeks, our job is to defeat him and defeat him badly. <laughs> the remarks come amid blistering criticism from Democrats over Trump's refusal to commit to a peaceful transfer of power if he loses the November election. So one of the things I, I've really grown to, um, okay, I'll, I'm, let me, no, I thought they were going to have more of what Sanders had to say. But now they're just repeating stuff that Trump said this week at a White House briefing about um, the ballots being a disaster. One of the things in particular that irritates me about Sanders and his interviews is that he's asked these questions where he doesn't really give a direct answer. So what I used to really like about him, and you know, to an extent I still do, it's just I'm annoyed with him due to the, you know, Biden support and trying to trick people into thinking that that man's actually going to change anything in a in a decent way. Um, when you have a person like Sanders who used to explain why single payer was better than the ACA, uh, how the U.S. would spend all this money on these wars, but then not be able to give anyone free school or affordable school. And this person is asked, what is your response to Trump losing the election but refusing to go? You would think he would say the Secret Service will escort him out. Um, it doesn't erase the fact that uh, Biden still won, so he could therefore order him to be removed from there, you know, taken back to, to New York or Florida, as he now says. You know, just all these different non aggressive, uh, but, you know, specific ways of actually addressing this question. Uh, there will be a number of plans out there to make sure that he is evicted from office. Well, what are the plans? Remember, in this scenario, Biden is the president, so theoretically he would have the power to have Trump escorted from the White And again, this is just, personally, I don't I don't actually believe Trump will try to stay if he um, gets defeated. I think it's him just basically saying a bunch of things, but even then I've still given examples of the hypothetical um, for, you know, solutions to the scenario that wouldn't be violent or... Uh, anything of that nature and he just won't give a specific answer but whatever he, he's one of the top biden surrogates and if there's anything we know about democrats non-answers and vagueness are their forte